past few months, there's been a, an awful lot uh, going on in regards to not only the small ships, but also the capital ships, the, should we say, the big guns of the fleet for the UEE. That's the Idris, the Bengal and the Javelin. You've seen the Javelin in a disarray of state in, in the Homestead demo. The Idris has consistently been in development for a very long time now. There's been a, an awful lot going into it. There's, there's so many kind of factors that you need to account for. Design, art, aesthetic, cinematics. Does it play well? Does it feel good? There's, there's, there's all these kind of things going on. The Idris was always the first of, of that fleet to kind of go through that motion. So that's pretty much there now. We've got one room, I think, that's just left, uh, left to do, which is the missile room. Um, but that, that's going to be a fun, good, good task. Leave, leave the best till the end, as they say. The history of the Idris, it really kind of started off as a much smaller ship. And it, as we kind of do very well in the UK, we make things bigger and bigger and bigger. During the development of, of, of Squadron, we kind of realised that really the ship wasn't going to be big enough to suit the needs of the story. There was so many more kind of spaces that we needed to get in there. The hangar needed to feel, feel bigger and, and better. And, you know, there, there, was, there was a lot more kind of requirements being driven from, from shall we say, the script. So, We've done our best to kind of stay true to Ryan Church's original kind of pitch for that stuff. Um, obviously, when a ship gets kind of wider and wider and wider, it starts to look a bit tubbier and tubbier and tubbier. So we, we lengthened it as well to kind of bring the overall kind of, should we say, the look of the ship back in tow. Um, as mentioned, it's slightly more angular. It's slightly more angular to keep it efficient in, in the engine. And, uh, you know, as you can see, it's just exponentially grown. Um, it's not going to grow anymore. The, the beautiful thing about the Idris is when you take the exterior shell away from the ship, it, it does genuinely look like an oil rig inside. It, it is so packed full of, of stuff. It's, it's quite crazy. There's, there's very little negative space. Every kind of square inch is used. So we've been as efficient as we can be. We've also kind of, you know, we try to make, I've always kind of approached it in a way of, it needs to feel like a really nice space to walk around um, and it should feel, it should flow. You should never kind of, you should never kind of walk into walls when you go through a doorway. You should always kind of, your golden rule is the pretzel design as I call it. When you walk into a room, you should see your exit or your entrance within 60 degree. That's your field of view. So there's all these kind of little things that we try to take into account. So when you're playing, you know, the big games like, you know, Battlefront and Call of Duty, you study the level design, they do that very well. So it's something that I've always tried to push forward as well. And also to try and try and bring in some kind of verticality where possible. So you'll notice there's a lot more steps up and down. You know, there's all these, and it, it, it kind of, it is an absolute nightmare to performance capture with this stuff, but it, it does genuinely feel a little bit more alive than just this kind of flat plane. The Javelin was always in a good place. I was never going to sweat it. It was always going to kind of take care of itself as long as we, we kept the primary focus on the Idris, which is your home, should we say, during the, the, the story of, of, of Squadron. So, and then we've got the Bengal, which is the, should we say, well, it's the first ship we saw. Massive challenge, massive undertaking. It's not as black and white as going in and going, okay, we're going to make this big ship. It, it just doesn't work that way. You have to you take into account budgets, view distance ratios. Uh, can we lod stuff efficiently to therefore squeeze more out of the engine? The exterior, the style of it, it kind of lends itself to this already. It's very kind of polygonal in form. Um, so we've got a lot of planar surfaces that, that, that are easy to work with for the engine and they are always going to light well. So there, there's a lot of factors that we play to our strengths. When you study a fleet in, in not only Star Citizen, but if you go back through the history of very kind of successful sci-fi films, and I think the film that executed it the best of all ever was the opening to Star Wars. You know, you you see the, the runner kind of go across and it's got these soft forms and it's generally kind of very softly lit um, for lots of cylinders, lots of, you know, fillets, should we say. You kind of understood without even seeing the Star Destroyer, what was going on and who was on board, right? And then you have this very aggressive, angular monolith kind of come over you and you kind of understood instantly, no music cues, what their role in the universe was. And that's something that we try and achieve 
with the design and and the execution of of the UE fleet, right? These guys are your friends. They're not they're not here to kind of you know be a, be shall we say like aggressive. They are the human element of this story. So when you study the form of of these ships, they're very much in tow with that that very much educational first thirty seconds. Of Star Wars, so you know, and then of course you know you can roll into like Vandal and stuff like that, which which you will see further down the line that is the bipolar opposite of that. So you should, you know, it, it works both ways. If you see a ship and it's like a 10 pixel silhouette on your screen, you should get who it is and if they're friendly or if they're foe. And you should also understand that if you're stood in a corridor and you've just spawned and you just look at a wall panel, you should understand exactly where you are just through the basics and that's that's what we've tried to do so they're 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 the kind of three big bad boys that are in production right now um and and are moving on at quite a rate <laughs>